Hello and uh, welcome to a small video from me, Jack, about installing Python for use with some of the TechnoCamps activities. Now, Python's an excellent program language and it's quite a flexible one, which means that there are two methods for getting started with Python. So one method is we can use a website and this has many benefits it's fast, it's free, it's uh, well easy to use, and it's also not requiring you to install anything on your computer. However, the other method where you do install Python on your computer, it's also free, but it can be a little bit more complex, but that also is a slight benefit because it allows us to do more advanced things with Python. So depending on how you're feeling, choose whichever method of uh, using Python that you prefer. Uh, if you're new to it, I recommend starting out with the website method and coming back to the installed method when you're a bit more confident. So that's what I'm going to go through first. I'm going to go through the website method. And the first thing you'll need to do is open up your browser and the website that we'll be using is app.edublocks.org slash hashtag python. And as soon as you go to that, you're in. And this is where we can start. Now, the beautiful thing about Edublocks is you have the option to use blocks mode or code mode. Blocks mode allows you to do lots of fairly simple nice block programming so for example i'm going to write a quick program that says print hello world and let's go and run it and i run that with this green run button up at the top and there we are it'll output our program so we can use blocks in EduBlocks, hence the name EduBlocks. But if we wanted something a little bit more close to Python, if we go over here in the top right and click this uh, white blocks button, it takes us over into code mode. And now in code mode, we can write pure Python. So print Hello world, but this time in code mode. Okay, let's see what happens when I go ahead and click run. There we are. So that's edgy blocks. You have a choice between uh, between pure Python or blocks mode. Both of them work adequately well. Blocks are nice and easy but the code mode is much more closer to the language. So that's the EduBlocks method. That's the website method. Maybe you want to install things instead. So the first place you want to go to is a website called python.org. And you should see this. Now, as soon as you go ahead and click on the Downloads tab, it'll take you to the download page for whatever operating system your computer is using. Mine is using Mac OS, so it's taken me to this version of Idle. Sorry, of Python. So, what do I want to do? I want to go ahead and click this Download Python 3.8. It doesn't matter what the numbers are as long as the first number is 3. Python 3 is the most up-to-date version that we're going to be using. So let's click download and ask us whether we want to uh, open this with installer and we do. So I click OK and it will go ahead and download that. And 
Yes, there we are. So it's now asked me, do I want to install Python? And I do. Now, it's going to include something called Idle. That's important. Idle is the software that we write our Python code in. So let's click Continue. And it's basically asking us all about validation. So we say Continue, accept the license. I have definitely read the license. I'm uh, definitely, I'm not just pressing uh, agree to get rid of it. I've definitely read it all the way through, moving on. Ask us where we want to install it. I do want to install it on the Macintosh hard drive. Okay, and I'll say it'll take about 115 megabytes. So I'm gonna go ahead and click install. Put my password in. If you do want to install Python, make sure you have permission of whoever owns the computer because this is installing software. There we are. And now it's installed all the different components that we need. Would it uh, want, does, do I want it to access my downloads folder? I'm happy for that. Now, the thing that's most important here is this app called Idle. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that, allow it access to my documents. And Idle is where we write our code. And typically, it's not always the case, the first window you see is this one. So let me get rid of all this gubbins. That's finished. Let's move that installer to the bin don't need browser anymore. This is usually the first window that you are greeted with. It's called the Python shell. The Python shell is where you can write Python commands, but you can't write Python code. So it can do useful things like one plus seven. Oh, that's eight. Eight times 257. 2056. Useful. But it's not useful for what we want to do. We want to actually make Python programs. So to do that, as soon as I open Idle, the first thing I go to is File, New File. And that brings up a new untitled blank window. I'm just going to stick it over there. This is where we actually write our Python code. So, just as an example, print speech mark. Hello world, this is my idle editor. And it's called an editor because, well, it allows us to edit our code. So I've written a small Python program. Admittedly, it's very small. It's only one line long. I can now go ahead and run this if I want to. I click inside this window to make sure I've got it selected. I go to run, run module. And it'll ask me, do I want to save my module? And I do. So I click OK. I'm going to save it on my desktop. You can save it wherever you like. And it needs to have a sensible name. And it needs to be a sensible name so I can come back to it and know what it was. So uh, let's call this greeting because it gives you a greeting. So let's click save. And now you'll see that the Python shell over here on the left has updated. It's actually run the code for us. So hello world, this is my idle editor. And that's brilliant. Let's run it again. So click on the code, click run, click run module, and it'll ask you if you want to save. You click OK and then it will run. 